Sam Bruce down at the 2015 Australian Super Rugby launch for ESPN Scrum. I'm joined by Waratahs coach Michael Checker. Michael, uh, a busy finish to the year for you last year. Did you take any time off? Uh, I got a few days over Christmas. Got out to do some shopping and bought a few presents for the kids. And yeah, I think we had eight or nine days off there with the Waratahs over Christmas. And it was nice to stay home and enjoy the family. But uh, I'd be lying if I say I didn't like the hustle and bustle of pre-season. Everyone running around screaming at each other. So. Uh, it's been really enjoyable since I've come back, even though it's been busy. And the Waratahs go from being the hunters to the hunted this year. How do you go about changing things to stay ahead of the chasing pack? Uh, well, mate, the way I see it, I know you're going to think it's a bit strange, I don't think we're ahead of the pack. Like, we've already handed the trophy back. You know, that's long gone. That was 2014's team that did that. 2015's team's got a whole different thing it's got to do. When this comp starts, everyone's on zero. We're not ahead of anyone. So we've got to go on the attack from game one. And uh, what we want to do is try to improve our attack and improve the, the, the aggression in our defensive side. We, we also think there's some areas in there that we, were, we weren't very good at last year that we think we can improve on and, um, and go somewhere where we haven't been before in our heads around how hard we need to push ourselves um, to get a win every week. And, and um, you know, I think... That, that idea of defending something is not even in our psyche at the moment because I think we've, we've got clear amongst ourselves that we've got nothing to defend, you know. You mentioned uh, about the attack that was you saw some holes in it last year. It was pretty good. Uh, how are you going to improve on that again? You know, I think just the work off the ball, you know. Like a lot of our stuff on the ball was very good. I, I'd like to see us working a bit harder to get into position off the ball, get our alignment right so that we can take advantage of the opportunities we're creating and definitely in support play. Last year, a lot of line breaks with not the finish that we wanted. And this year, I think we can work on our inside, outside support. So when we do make breaks, we're, we're converting more often than not. And uh, a bit of talk about Israel for our potential shift in position. Is there any truth to that rumor or? Oh, we talked about it since day one, you know what I mean, about him playing up there. I think he's still got a bit to go in, in realizing his full potential at fullback around the positional play piece. But I definitely say we might take a look at it at some stage during the year or, or if not, definitely into next year. And uh, how do you go about balancing the Waratahs and the Wallabies job? Do Wallabies ideas pop into your head and you've got to think, oh, I'll save that for later or, and vice versa for the Waratahs? Yeah, you do have to compartmentalise a lot of the stuff and make sure you keep things separate. But so far it's been going well. I've, I've had really good support from the other coaches uh, at Super Rugby. I think they can empathise with me a little bit being a Super Rugby coach as well. And, um, and, uh, and the players have been really good and straight up. So... I think um, that's a good start for us and we'll, we'll have things balance along the, so during the season where the Wallabies will all get together and get a chance to keep ticking uh, a few pieces off so that by the time we come to July we'll be ready to go. And you're taking a trial out to Campbelltown Stadium next weekend. How important is Western Sydney to the Waratahs and as with your Wallabies hat on to Australian rugby? Well, I think everywhere is important but for Western Sydney is a big growth area for us. We're playing a Parramatta this weekend in a trial and then Campbelltown the weekend after. Last year we focused on the country a bit. This year we want to get out to the west. And I think the reality is, mate, that, and I know that this is not a marketing spin or anything like that, a lot of our guys who are playing for the Waratahs are from west, you know what I mean? And and I, I don't want to go on a recruitment drive or anything out there. I just want the guys to see this is how we play rugby. I hope you enjoy it. Some of the guys who are living out, you know, people from your own areas are big contrib contributors to the team. And um, hopefully we can get one or two more people watching the game and playing the game out there. So, like, we just, I don't want to spin anything to them. I just want to play good footy out there and hope that they enjoy it and, and it might get them into the game a little bit more. One of those guys you mentioned is Kirtley Beal from out that way. Uh, tough finish to the season for him last year. Are you confident he's overcome that and is set for a big 2015? Oh, I think this is the year for him to shine, you know. I think around um, his play, like... I, He's, he's played really good football over many, many years now and he's still only a young fella, really. But I think it's the time for him to come up and maximise his potential, you know, like reach the levels every week that he reaches in game sometime and, and go probably a bit beyond that because he's maturing now a little bit in his approach to the game. And, uh, and I think it's a really big year and an important year for him uh, to make sure he gets the best out of himself. And finally, uh, open the season against the Force on a Sunday afternoon. Great running rugby in the uh, dry conditions. Great way to start the season. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Obviously, we've got a few games to put out un in under our belts uh, before then because we need the match fitness. But I think 
Yeah, the running will be important, but I've got a feeling it, it, the, the physicality of that game is going to be relatively important too because, you know, early doors, everyone's going to be struggling a bit for match fitness. So it's about how physical we play the game. That'll lay the platform for us to play some running footy. All right, Michael, uh, thanks very much for your time. All the best for 2015. Cheers, thanks.